A few weeks ago, I shared with you a video from one of our workshops where I was presenting a group activity to my students who had come in to learn face to face before doing their exams with me, their practical exams with me. Now today I have another one of those videos. I had a lot of requests to get more of these videos so that you get an idea of what the training is like and how it works with our students. So the presentation I'm sharing with you today is called the snake game. It sounds very exciting, isn't it? It's also from the math area and it is a very exciting and interesting game. It's an activity that introduces children to mathematics, to addition, to operations. Um, first of all, they're doing number bonds of 10 and then they start working with more complex number bonds. I won't say too much. I'll give you a chance to watch this and then we'll talk a little more. Today we're going to be working with the snake game, okay? Do you still remember how to build a short lead stair? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you to build a short lead stair, stair right over here. Okay, Janice, I have one more set I would like you to build. But this time, we're going to build it upside down, so one will be at the bottom, okay? Okay. Now, Janice, I'm going to use these colorful beads to make a colorful snake, okay? And I'm going to give my snake a red eye. So Janice, do you like our colorful snake? Yes. We're going to do something fun now. We're going to change this colorful snake into a golden snake. Okay? Now I need you to help me. I'm going to count. We're going to count together. When we reach 10, you're going to say stop. And we will change those beads into golden beads. Okay? Let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop. Okay, can you bring down one 10 bead bar? And let's put these two beads back into the stairs. Okay. Let's continue, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Okay. Can you bring down one ten bead bar? Okay. And let's put these back into the stair. Okay. Shall we continue? Okay. One, two, three, four. Continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you bring one ten down? And let's return these to the stairs. 
Now, Janice, we've changed our colorful snake into a golden snake. We want to find out how many beads did we have in our snake. Let's count, okay? One, One ten. ten, two ten, three ten, four ten, five ten, six ten, seven ten, eight ten, nine ten. Nine tens, we can also call it? Ninety. That's right, so we had ninety beads in our snake. And today you've learned how to do the snake game. Anytime you want to do this again, you know where it's kept, you can take it from the shelf. Would you like to help me to tidy? Yes. Okay, so uh, Alodia, today we're going to do the snake game, but we're going to play it a different way. Okay? Yes. Now, do you remember still how to build the um, short bead stair? Yes. I'm going to give you the beads and ask you to build one short bead stair at the top of the mat, okay? Yes. Okay, I'm going to give you some more beads. I want you to build another one exactly the same, okay? Yes. Lodi, I have with some new beads that we're going to be working with today, okay? And we call these the black and white beads or the remainder beads. I'm going to show you how we build them into a stair, okay? Alodia, when we count, what's the first number? One. Can you count and find bead number one? One. Can you place it here? Okay, what comes after one? Two. Can you count and find number two? One, two. Let's place it here. What comes after two? Three. Can you count and find three? One, two, three. And what comes after three? Four. Can you count and find four? One, two, three, four. Okay. Do you know what comes after four? Five. Can you count and find five? One, two, three, four, five. Do you know what comes after five? Six. Now I want to show you how we count six, okay? Five, six. Do you think you can try? Five, six. Can you place it in the stair? What comes after six? Seven. Do you think you can count the way I showed you and find number seven? I'll try. Five, six, seven. Can you put it in the stair? What comes after seven? Eight. Okay, let me see you find eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and what comes after eight? Nine. Okay, can you count and find it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, now we're ready to start. We are going to build a colorful snake using these beads. Okay, I want to give my snake a red eye. Alodia, do you like our colorful snake? Yes. All right. We are going to change this colorful snake into a golden snake. And I need your help because we're going to count to 10. And when we reach 10, we have to stop and change it into a golden bead bar. Okay? So let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop. Now. I'm going to ask you to bring one ten bead bar down here. Okay. Okay, I want you to return these to this stair here. Sorry. Alright, now we need to return one over here. We can't break it. So how many beads are remaining? One. Can you bring one from the remainder beads and put it into the snake? And now you can return this. Let's continue counting, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Can you bring one ten B bar? Can you return all of these? Now, 
Let's continue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop. Okay. Can you bring down 110 deep bar? Can you return this? Tell me, Elodia, how many beads do we have remaining? One. Can you bring one from the remainder beads? Place it in the snake. And you can return this. Now let's continue counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Okay. Now, Elodia, would you like to bring down one ten? Can you return these? Let's count and see how many beads are remaining. One, two, three, four, five. Can you bring five from the remainder beads and put it into the snake? And let's continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Can you bring one ten and place it here? And can you return these? Okay, let's continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Can you please um, return this? Can you count how many are remaining? One, two, three, four. Please forget to bring the beat down. What did you write down? Yeah. Okay. Lodia, can you bring one ten down? Okay, let's return this. And can you count and tell me how many are remaining? One, two, three, four. Can you please bring four from the remainder beads and place it into the snake? Okay, let's return that. Shall we continue? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Hello, dear. Can you bring one ten down? Can you return this? Yes. <clears throat> can you tell me how many are remaining? One. Okay, can you bring one from the remainder beads? Put it into the snake. Let's continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Can you bring one ten down? Can you return these? Hold. Okay, let's continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Can you bring one ten down? And can you return these to the stair? Yes. Now, Elodia, we've changed our colorful snake into a golden snake. Let's count how many beads we had in our snake. One ten. One ten. Two ten. Three ten. 4, 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 10. 9, tens, we can also call it 90. 90. So we had 90 beads in our snake. Anytime you'd like to take this and do it again, you know where it's kept. Would you like to help me to tidy? Yes. So I'm hoping you enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed this when I was a student and when I did my teaching practice, this is one of the materials that I chose to present to the child that I was working with and that I was observing. I, I really loved this material and when I presented it to this young boy who was about four and a half to five years old, 
Oh, he loved it and he continued to work with it over and over again. It really does engage the child's uh, interest and the benefits are they really develop very, very deep concentration when working with this material. Now what's happening here is we lay out these sets of short bead stairs and we have the golden beads and the children are learning to make these bonds of 10 and exchange it for a 10 bead bar. In the second presentation now, we introduce them to the remainder beads and over here they realize that they can take some beads from the remainder beads to cover the amount that they are not able to get. It's very interesting. Children process it in different ways. I've seen children do it over and over, you know, maybe 10 times in a row. They repeat this activity. Can you imagine the level of concentration that they're developing? And if they choose to repeat something, that means they're really getting some satisfaction from it and they're honestly learning so much from it. So let me know what you thought about the snake game. Let me know if you've tried this before with your child or in your school. And if you have any requests for materials that you'd like to learn about, please let me know in the comments below. And I promise to try and get them all out to you as soon as possible. I'm so grateful and I'm so appreciative for the support you give us, for the wonderful comments that you share and how much you enjoy our videos. We will keep coming back with more, so make sure your notifications are turned on and you're subscribed so you don't miss any of our videos. If you've enjoyed this, share it with your friends so everyone can learn Montessori and hit the like button so I can know that you are enjoying our content. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.